excited by Derek uh, to come on through to the sip and paint and um, to support the cause. And um, I have not painted in a very, very long time, but um, I know that is not my gifted. <laughs> But I enjoyed it nonetheless, and the food was amazing. The shrimp and grits, outstanding. Some of the best that I've had in a long time. And so, you, do you enjoy painting? Is it something that you're going to get into later on, or, or what? Um, I need some practice. I need some work, and I I need a tutor. I need work because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting colors down on the canvas. And if they look good, I'm putting them down. So, <laughs> But I enjoyed it nonetheless. I, I enjoy doing things that I'm not that great at because, you know, it, it's fun. It's fun to, to get outside of your box and, and just enjoy yourself. I think yours is actually better than mine. Really? Yeah, I like, I, mine's just like, it's, I think I did too much. Yours is just no background, so it's really nice. If you just fix the lips, if her lips aren't like, <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't making like a, you know, face. But it's nice. Shirley Chisholm <laughs> and beauty, hidden beauty. All right. I'll go for that. Yes. <laughs> so you're familiar with Kenneth Gatewood as an artist? Uh, not as much, as much, but I definitely will uh, look up his work more and see more of what he does because I'm always enamored by folks who know how to just visualize uh, art and like they are able to transfer it to paper that uh, or or canvas it's just amazing to me and so you said you're an actress uh, and if any anything that we might be familiar with I had it oh calm down Martha I'm tired of this shit he drives us all the way out Hi. here Hi. turn around little girl what why hey Martha this is what he does. Don't take it personally. He threw food at us. He missed. He fired us, Carol. Hey, if I had a nickel for every time Shy fired me, I wouldn't have to work for Shy anymore. I'm done walking on eggshells because he's in a mood. You want to see a mood? I'll show you a mood. He's a fucking star. You may just see me on a on a show. I can't talk too much about it right now, but um, it's definitely what brought me out here to the West Coast. Um, and and yes, it's in children's programming. That's all I can say as of now, but really soon, soon or very soon, you should, you should see. The website that people can check you out on, Instagram? Oh, you can check me out on my um, Instagram handle at Marquita Prescott. That's my full name, um, M-A-R-K-I-T-A-P-R-E-S-C-O-T-T. -T. So I'm at Marquita Prescott. You can check me out and um, yes, just keep in touch. Thank you. So anybody think about getting into acting, what advice would you give to them? Well, I've been doing it for a very long time, since I was a kid, and I would just say, um, learn your craft. Um, I would say, work on becoming comfortable with yourself, especially like all of your, your quirks, because you want to bring that to your art. So knowing yourself, knowing who you are, and what you bring to the table, so you're not like anyone else. Um, that is number one, that is key. And number two, if you love it with all your heart, keep doing it. Because we need more storytellers out here. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Storytellers are important. Thank you for your comment. No problem. No, 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 no. This is, I got about another couple of weeks and I'm out of this. <laughs> How long you been in it? Just a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Oh, okay. But I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> See, look at, but you didn't sign it. Oh, no, I did not. Right. You no. got, an artist got to sign their work. Oh, okay. All right. Every time I finish a piece, I sign it. You sign it. Like in the corner, yeah. like right there. Honestly, I didn't know what you was going to come up with. And I didn't know what I was going to come up with. The colors that you picked did not re register in my head. No? No. Oh, I could tell. <laughs> I could tell when you were like, uh, Yeah, because okay. I said, okay, this is totally different. And then what you did right here in back of the hat, the highlighted and everything. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This was fun. This is really fun. Well, I'm glad I gave you some therapy. Yeah. <laughs> We all can use that these days, right? Oh, yeah, you got that right. <laughs>
Well, you're going to get a lot of therapy in a couple weeks. Huh? Uh, right, exactly. <laughs> You'll exactly. be back on that I'll court. I'll be back on the court, exactly. Running around and yeah. only yeah. kicking people. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but yeah, I can't wait. I'm yeah. excited. But yeah, Where's my quiet fun. friend over here? This is my best friend. She's, she is my best friend. I mean, <laughs> and she, is, she was so meticulous. Yeah. I mean, I was like, she was like, I, I was like kicking over there a couple of times. When is she gonna start? And, and I said, I better not mess we with her. We didn't have a picture to go by, so we just had to. Well, yeah, but yeah, you did a great job of your imagination. I, I didn't want to come back again. I didn't, didn't want her to slap me upside the head. <laughs> Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. No. <laughs> I got a vision I want right, right, right. to come up with. This takes, you know what? This takes a lot of. I, I couldn't be an artist. It takes a lot of like creativity. You kind of have to. You, you really gotta kind of know. But you do. You, you have a creative yeah, side. Nah, nah, I don't. Did, did you ever think you was gonna do it like that? No, I did okay, not. See? It came out actually better than I thought it would. See? It came out better than I thought it would. See? But no. You have a I creative didn't. side. Everybody has a creative side. Well, I, it was hard. It's not supposed to be that hard, right? No. This was hard for me no. to actually think of how I'm going. When you call it foul, you said. What? You don't have to think. <laughs> hey, you got to be Sometimes decisive. I got to think, though. Sometimes. Well, you got to be decisive, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You ain't decisive. You said, oh, they replaying back. Oh, we, don't, well, but we don't have replay. We don't have, well, we don't have replay. We got to hit it like that. Then we can go back later on and look at it. But it, on the court, it's got to see it. You got to blow it. No, no, no. You in certain situations you can go do a replay. Oh. But I'm saying if you're gonna if you're gonna make a decision, you gotta make a decision. Like the last two minutes of the game. Yeah. Well, last two minutes of the game, we got replay. We can use replay. <laughs> but what about the other 38 minutes? Oh well. Yeah. Minutes, yeah. <laughs> That's on you. Right, right, right. Exactly. But no, this was good. This was this was some great therapy. Some great therapy. Very good therapy. So she came out and had great therapy today and for why we can't make a difference foundation and she's making a difference and you're talking about refereeing so uh, i'm a men's college basketball official so how did you get inspired to become an official you know what uh nba ref kevin cutler um kind of introduced me to kind of introduced me to officiating and um, I had a one-year-old daughter at the time and I needed to make some extra money and it just kind of went from there um, never in a million years that I think that I did I think in 2018 um, that I'd be the first woman to referee men's college basketball in history I, I, I if you would have asked me that maybe five six years ago I'd be like yeah okay whatever but no it did it happened and I am forever grateful and that's why I, I kind of, with, with D and, and his foundation for the kids, I'm always supportive of, of kids. So this is this is this has been awesome. This has been this is this is about them, and it's been awesome. It's been awesome. So is this a dream come true for you, baby? It is. It is. Uh, I enjoy officiating. Um, I, I I'm in law enforcement too, but I, I enjoy officiating. It is. Um, it has gotten me and my daughter. My, my daughter is a senior in college, so it's gotten her through college. <laughs> it's got, I'm in my master's program, so it's getting me through college, and it's just a really good experience just to be out there on the court, just to see kids that I've seen grow up through high school and actually now get to referee them in, in college, even though they aged me a little bit. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's been a good experience. So we got an amazing group of people around here. You cannot be doing stuff for that. NBA and, and uh, Major League Baseball and Kevin wow. the gentleman with the hat. He's a captain for Delta Airlines. Really? Yes. So. See, good people. This is this is for great. This is great people. This is a great people. Great people. Yes, absolutely. Inspire. I'm inspired. Look, he didn't. Kenneth has inspired me. I might. I mean, I, I might have to pick my next sip and paint. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, no. This is oh my! Did you look at look look? This is this. You can't get any better than this. You can't get any better than this. So this was well put together, and I I really really had a good time. I did. This was really good. So yeah, I'm proud of myself. So any words of encouragement for anybody that wants to get into a position of um, working in your profession? You know what? Just stay positive, stay positive, and, and if you believe in yourself, it don't matter if nobody else does, if you believe in yourself, you make it happen. You find a way to make it happen, and that's kind of what I did. Yeah, so don't don't ever give up on your dreams because it can happen, it will happen. 
And what is your legacy? You know what? To inspire, um, to inspire at risk, at risk youth, and let them know that there is a path forward for these kids. I grew up in Compton, so I, I'm all about trying to inspire them and let them know that just because you grew up in a certain area, or just because you you don't have, I didn't have the parents that you know I grew up raised by my grandmother. You you can still make a way for yourself, a positive way, and officiating is probably one of the best routes to go. <laughs> best routes to go i mean you keep yourself in shape you make some extra cash you don't know who you're gonna meet i mean all these different people that are here today i didn't know these people were gonna i didn't i didn't even know any of this so you kind of at risk kids i really just want them to understand that there is always a way out of that environment that you that you think you're stuck in there's, there's always a way out there's always an avenue and hopefully officiating i'm i'm actually starting um a, a business called Start Officiating. Well, I'm really going to focus on at root, at risk youth and introduce them to officiating. It don't have to be basketball, don't, it, football, soccer, whatever the case may be. But I want to give them an opportunity and let them understand that this is a way. This is a way for you to make it for yourself. You know, you may not want to be a re you may not referee forever, but at some point you're going to meet some of these good people, meet some good people throughout your officiating, and that could take you to a different avenue. You never know. But officiating is there. And it's 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 safe. It it, it really has. <laughs> Again, if you would ask me back five, ten years ago, would I be where I am today? I I'd, I'd be like you're crazy. So it, it it can happen. It can happen. So that that's <laughs> don't make them <laughs> start crying. Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. It's all about the kids. And so I I that's that's my legacy to inspire young kids, young young adults, young kids to do better and show them ways and avenues to do better so thank you you're welcome seems so sincere i i am because i know where i came from <laughs> i know where i came from and and to be where i am right now and to be the role model that i am for my daughter who's 20 years old i i <laughs> it's a good feeling it's a great feeling just to mute all the noise out there that you're gonna hear. You know what I mean? People won't say just mute all that noise and just stay on your path. And it, it works. It works. Great day for a great cause. That's right. Absolutely. And I, I, I totally, totally loved it. We totally enjoyed our day here. Perfect First time day. actually in this particular park. Yeah. So this was a great on top of everything with a fantastic view yeah. so Great. this was a fantastic day so thank i'm glad you. we did thank this you. Thank you. all right thanks to uh Derek and all that he does <laughs> you know, for the kids you know all right take take care now thanks